Welcome to another love reading of yours. This is for my Cappies in love. It is a general reading. This may or may not resonate with every Capricorn watching this video. Some of the energies of the cards here can be flipped, so feel free to switch those energies to vice versa. Time is fluid. As you know, you could have dealt with this energy or will be dealing with in the near future. And of course, if this reading does resonate with you and you do need a personal reading, then that information is going to be down below. Okay, Capricorn, let's see. <clears throat> a lot of spying, a lot of stalking, a lot of looking at each other's social media, etc. With the page of swords, you're someone's keeping tabs on you, you're keeping tabs on them, flip the energies, or it's both of you all doing it, okay? Because that is the current situation here. Capricorn, you want forward moment with this person, okay? You want to give them the public recognition that they need. Yeah, so <clears throat> you want forward moment with this person, okay? And you're very, very, very determined to have that, okay? Very determined to make that happen. I like that. Six of cups in reverse on this person's mind, okay? So what did you do, Capricorn? They're holding a grudge against you. This is a lot of lack of forgiveness, okay? This person is clinging on to bad memories, they're clinging on to the worst memories that they had with you, or this is just reminiscing the past, but in a bad way. We'll see. Your emotions, you want everything with them, but with the Knight of Swords in reverse here, you're, you're holding back. Two reasons. Either you're holding back because you don't know how to take this forward, or because of whatever bad memories this person has with you, you're a little guarded from them, okay? Or, <clears throat> you're waiting for the right time to approach this. Anyways, okay, but if you're holding back so much, Knight of Swords in Reverse can also mean a missed opportunity. Keep that in mind. This person sees you as the world. You're there happily ever after. But you've just hurt them big time. You've hurt them a lot. You could be dealing with someone very emotional. What a sign. I think you regret it. Earlier probably, with the, I, I feel earlier you had a lot of self-doubt of whether you can make this happen with them or not. You're still trying to keep tabs on them, trying to check their social media, trying to find out if this person's dating or whatever they're doing, right? But I feel that this person, the more time you're taking, Capricorn, the more the, more the grudge, okay? Because you're taking too much time to approach this person, okay? You're holding back a lot. Not a good idea, just saying. You have so much to say, of course, right? You have so much to say. You want to talk to them. You want to make this forward. You want to take this, you want to make this successful, right? But you're holding back on purpose. Not a good idea. Ten of Cups. This person sees you as they're happily ever after, like I said, right? They want their end all be all with you, but then they're just mad at you, okay? They're not going to be able to forgive you or they're not being able to forgive you for whatever happened between you guys in the past, okay? They feel a strong soul type connection to you, but again, there's a disconnection between you guys right now. Mutual energy, page of pentacles, you both want this. You both want to invest in this. You both want to offer something stable to each other. At least you definitely want to, Capricorn. Again, flip the sides, but at least you want to. I'm going to see it. Okay, I'm, I'm going to call Capricorn this side so that there is no confusion. But with the page of Pentacles here, Capricorn, you want to offer this person something stable, something committed, something solid. It may be small, but you're ready to work on this, okay? Because you're very determined to move forward with this person. Ten of Wands and Reverse is your attitude, okay? This is a big burden on you, okay? And you're ready to release this burden, okay? It's like you're ready to lay off the situation. What is burdensome to you is I think that you're holding back so much because you're holding back so much. You're keeping things to yourself. You're keeping things within, which is causing a lot of confusion. I'm going to clarify. And it's, it's just a very draining energy, okay? Very draining energy. And you need to release this. You need to release this. It's just getting too much. You know what I'm getting, Capricorn? This ten of wands in reverse here, it looks like a self-inflicted stress to me. I don't think this person's giving you any stress. I think you're creating that stress. You're the one creating this stress. It's self-inflicted by you. It's because of you. It's because you're holding back. It's because it's just like piling up and piling up and piling up. You have so much to say, but you're still holding your horses. It's self-inflicted stress, and that's why your attitude is, you know what, like, fuck it, I want to let this go. Not let this person go, but yeah, you're definitely, like, it's getting too much for you. It's it's all self-inflicted. I don't see this person doing anything to you. They're minding their own business, holding that grudge against you. <laughs> With the seven of cups in reverse, if this person's attitude is, this person could be, again, I'm getting a lot of cups. You could definitely be dealing with a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or this could be in their bird chart. But this person, they love you. They love you. Okay. Seven of Cups in reverse here. <coughs> 
So this person could have been in a very dreamy zone earlier, okay? They could have had a lot of visual thinking. They could have th thought of every single possible romantic things with you, okay? Like they would want a house, they, they want to marry you, they want kids, they want the dog, the hamster, etc. a beautiful house. They were in that dreamy zone. They were in that fantasy world is what I'm saying. But after you give that, you, you gave them that whatever dose or whatever you did between whatever happened between you guys, well, I have a reality check. Uh, what I like is uh, they have a reality check now, okay? I don't think this is someone who kept their options open. I think they have a reality check and they are seeing things more practically now, okay? They see things for what they are. They're, I mean, whatever. Nine of Wands in reverse, likely outcome, okay? So I think Capricorn, it's you whose cards are up. And now you're letting your guards down for the Nine of Wands in reverse here. You're wanting to be vulnerable. You're wanting to open up to this person, okay? Good way to start, huh? Clap in the page of swords. Ace of pentacles. Where I say Capricorn. You want to offer this person this new beginning. You want to offer this person this seed of uh, commitment, happiness. You want this practical beginning with them. Okay. That's turmeric water. My mom made it for me for my throat. So I like it. Turmeric hot water and honey <clears throat> you're watching this person and while watching you're trying to get information <coughs> with the ace of pentacles you definitely want this with this person you definitely do but you know what if you see the page of swords and the ace of pentacles right it's like this person wants this you want this right but again you're holding back see the sword how he's holding back the sword right you're holding back communication you're holding back this news that you want to give the page of swords is anyways positive news but it's delayed positive news again so capricorn if you're expecting a commitment it's coming in this side cross watcher if you're expecting it capricorn's gonna give it to you they're, they're just acting a little immature right now anyways the page of swords is someone very immature someone who's uh, immature in communication also all right what is the six of wands what is the six of wands I have the six of wands. <clears throat> Page of pentacles. Wow. You're going to offer an apology to this person, Capricorn. It's on your mind. You want forward movement with this person. You want to offer this person an apology. Page of it. Wow. King of cups. You love this person so much. There's a lot of love here. A lot of love. Capricorn, do you sometimes realize that you did hurt this person? You did, right? I, I just got that. I mean, like, this person's really hurt with you, by you. Maybe you were someone who did not, who was just not being able to um, open up emotionally. And getting someone who did not want to be emotionally vulnerable, someone who had trust issues, someone who was emotionally unavailable. And now, all of a sudden, the tables have turned now that this person is out of your life, right? You are very determined on making this happen with this person. You want to offer this person an apology. You want to offer them something stable, committed etc stable secure committed stable secure committed something tangible is what i'm getting this is not even the page of cups or the ace of cups it's the next level it's something in the 3d world i love that i love it and you love this person so much it's just that you're not the best person at expressing yourself emotionally okay <clears throat> but now you've mastered your emotions your head and heart are in balance and yeah you're trusting your intuition why the six of cups in reverse Two of Wands in reverse here. What is this Two of Wands in reverse? Maybe this person's tired of waiting. Judgment in reverse. Maybe they don't want to repeat the past mistakes again because of whatever happened between you guys in the past here. Two things. Two of Wands in reverse and the Judgment reverse. So what I feel is that this person has either made up their mind and they don't want to give this a second chance or they're tired and fed up of waiting, of being making a decision. You need to make a decision, but you're stuck. Okay, you're stuck. You're not making a decision. Maybe it was you who had to make a decision, Capricorn, of whether you wanted to move forward with this person or not. Maybe this person was always very sure of wanting a commitment, wanting something stable with you. Maybe you were the one who wasn't and probably you kept playing mind games, whatever, all right? But yeah, it's it's left a bad taste in their mouth, okay? And now I think they've made up their mind and they don't want to give this a second chance. It's in their logic. What's Knight of Swords in reverse? <clears throat> Six of Wands 
Six of Swords in reverse, you're returning back to them. You could have tried to move away, maybe you wanted to see if the grass is green on the other side, etc. Whatever. But you thought probably you'll move away after doing what you did. But yeah, now you're holding back because you're stuck on them. You're stuck on them with the Six of Swords in reverse here. You know what, Capricorn? With the Six of Swords in reverse here, yes, you're stuck to them. Yes, you're stuck on them. You're not being able to move on. You want to get back to them. <coughs> The Six of Swords in Reverse also means that by holding back with the Knight of Swords in Reverse, yeah, I feel that Capricorn, this is a habit. This is a habit that you keep doing. This is a particular thought pattern, okay, that you keep repeating again and again and again. Every single time shit happens between you guys, okay, and you go back to doing something that you kept doing in the past, which is a negative pattern, a negative thinking, holding back communication, trying to teach them a lesson. Not trying to teach them a lesson, could be, but it's like almost, you know, punishing them. Or, or it's like, you know what, I'm going to hold that communication, see how you're making them suffer, etc. Or you want them to talk to you. Whatever your tactics, right? Whatever technique you're implying on this person or whether you're doing it intentionally or unintentionally. You're going back to the same pattern over and over and over again, which is not going to work out for you. Just to let you know. When you have to say something, you just got to say it. You have so much to say. You're just holding back. And I wouldn't have said it if I wouldn't have seen, seen love on you, okay? You have love, you want this commitment, you want to move forward. Then why hold back? Ego? That's fucked up. <clears throat> why is the Six of Swords in reverse here? You're going back to doing the same shit over and over again. And that's what this person is probably fed up of. Why is the Six of Swords in reverse? One card, please. Why is the Six of Swords in reverse? Six of Wands, yeah. So see, you're so conflicted in your head. With the Six of Wands here, you want movement forward. It's on your mind, it's in your heart. Why hold back, Capricorn? What are you afraid of? There is nothing to be afraid of. And regardless, you know, if you go and approach this person, yes, it's going to be, it's going to be like a tough nut to crack. But it's already there. It's already there. Look how it's weighing you down. You want this with this person. You want to go back to this person. It's your pattern of holding back communication, wanting to say so much, but still not being in a rush into something, okay? Not wanting to rush into something. But honestly, your Capricorn, I think you need to rush. I think you need to rush. This person's, I mean, there's still the judgment in reverse. They're probably not listening to their intuition. They're not listening to their, uh, they're not listening to that wake up call that they're getting that they should give this a second chance because they have the fear of making the wrong decision. They want to stick to a safer choice. Only because they were hurt in the past by you. What is the Ten of Cups? <clears throat> Knight of Wands. What is this Knight of Wands? You know what? In their emotions with the Ten of Cups and the Knight of Wands, I feel now that they are going to live the moment. They're no more going to wait for you. Yes, I did say in their emotions that you are there and all. You are. You are. Over the Knight of Wands here, I think they're ready to chase what makes them happy with the Ten of Cups here. They're ready to go for it. This is someone who is living the moment, someone who does not need to know what's going on in the near future. This is just someone wanting to live in the moment, okay? And with the Ten of Cups here, they're no longer waiting for you to come back. They're just going to live life on their terms and uh, they're going to pursue whatever they want. And with the Knight of Wands here, this is like someone who's like going for it. Like, all right, Capricorn's not coming back to me. That's fine. I know what my happiness is. I know where my happiness lies and I'm going after it. I'm telling you, you're taking too much time, Capricorn. Don't do that. Why is the Knight of Wands now? <clears throat> Why is the Knight of Wands here? Fire print in reverse. Because they felt something was just not meant to be. They felt something was just not meant to be. This person could be wanting something very stable from you, right? And they walked away because you didn't give it to them. And now that you didn't give it to them, I mean, and now that you want to give it to them, they feel it's just something that's not meant to be. <coughs> now, they don't want this with you. I can also say that now they don't want this with you. They don't want something traditional. They don't want this commitment with you. They've lost interest. They're going after something else. It's like if this commitment is not coming to me and if it's not making me happy, I'm going, I'm going to go towards my night 
towards my ten of cups look how the knight of wands is looking at the ten of cups right if it's not your capricorn it could be someone else but you're not the last person on this earth to give this to me i'm sorry i'm being so savage but it's the truth i can feel the energies of this person could be you could be capricorn but whatever <clears throat> What is this page of pentacles? Why is this the mutual energy? You're both not wanting to see things from a different point of view or you're both wanting to release the stagnation and want to come out of stagnation and take action with the page of pentacles here. <coughs> I'm getting you both want this, but with a hangman in reverse, you're both just like at a stalemate energy. You both dug your heels and it's like, no, you make the first move. It's like, no, you make the first move. Honestly, Capricorn, this side needs to make the first move. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but you do. <clears throat> Page of Pentacles, Hangman in Reverse. Someone wants to release and, you know, like snap out of this uh, Hangman mode. Snap out of this. Stop just relaxing, resting and thinking. Brainstorming, done. Snap out of it and you both want to move this forward, okay? But this, this person is a little less interested because they're like, I think this person is more like what is meant for me won't pass me by. I think this is what they keep saying and this is what I keep saying, okay? So it's like, this person is like no chasing, no stress, no anxiety. What is meant for me will not pass me by. That's what they're saying and that's why they're just going after that, right? And because they're doing that, which is the law of attraction, it's the law, it's the law right? You chase happiness, right? And that's when you're things get manifested, right? Your thoughts get manifested and that's why you're coming into them. But by the time you, that's why by the time you're coming, right? This person is not wanting that with you anymore. <clears throat> okay? They just feel it's not meant to be. They're not feeling spiritually guided to pursue you anymore or to wait for you anymore. Or they just feel that you're just not ready to learn your lessons. The Hierophant in reverse is someone who needs a mentor, right? Could be that this person is not learning their lessons. Look, Capricorn, I'm not saying that you're the only one who fucked up. I feel you both did, okay? Because it's never uh, one-sided, right? But if you've learned your lessons, right? This person also need to learn, needs to learn their lessons. Maybe the lesson is not to um, give into a situation too much. Or maybe the lesson is to realize their self-worth. Again, that's what I'm getting. I think this person's lesson is to realize their self-worth and they're not listening to that. Whatever, take it how it resonates. Why is the Ten of Wands in reverse here? <clears throat> and probably the lesson that you need to learn, Capricorn, is that you need to trust and you need to open up emotionally. You need to be vulnerable and you need to go for what you want, okay? It's not going to be of any point when you hold back communication or when you hold back your feelings, okay? And keep to yourself. You're, you're losing something very important, very precious. The love of your life. Why is the Ten of Wands in reverse? Four of Wands. <clears throat> what is the Four of Wands? Wants it. See, this is it's, this is exactly what I'm saying. You want to release this burden, okay? Because this is stressing you out with the Ten of Wands in reverse here. You want this. You want the stability with this person, okay? You want this long-term commitment with this person. You want the family, the celebration, the marriage, everything, okay? You feel this is your twin flame connection, okay? You want this union with that person. But with the King of Wands in reverse, you're, you're just not taking action. Queen, King of Wands in reverse, Knight of Swords in reverse, what the hell is going on? You're not going to get this person like this. King of Wands in reverse, a lot of <coughs> lack of self-confidence, a lot of doubt, a lot of indecision, um, a lot of reactive, being very reactive, ma not making shit happen, stuff like that, taking a step back, copping out. Need to, you need to be bold and courageous and make that move, but you're not with both these cards. Neither are you communicating, nor are you taking action. Well, fair enough if this person walks away, right? You want everything with them and the self-inflicted stress, it's you who's creating it by holding back. It's not them who's giving anything to you. What is the seven of cups in reverse? Two cups? Okay. King of pentacles reverse and the temperance. So this person is going to be very, very focused on their work, their career, their goals. They have nothing and no interest in a relationship or pursuing a relationship or being with you right now. They're very focused on their goals. Okay. And they see things very, very clearly. They know more in that fairy tale with you. They wanted everything. They once wanted everything with you, but now they want it no more. They look at you as someone non-committal, someone who doesn't want anything long-term. 
and I think with the temperature they have left it on God it's like let God let the universe take over again what is meant for me will work will not pass me by temperance being very cool calm collected having a lot of patience and they know that something's going to need time okay they know that something's going to take time and they're ready to wait they're ready to wait for the right moment they're ready to wait for the universe to give them what's for their highest good they say very clearly but with the king of pentacles <clears throat> in reverse and with the seven of cups in reverse two ways again i'm saying i feel this person sees you for what you are and this person could have waited for you to become, um, to give them the commitment, okay? Or just if they could change your mind from being a non-committal person to being committal or whatever, right? Because maybe this person could have given you a lot of chances for you to come in order for you to come towards them, to give them that stability, security, whatever, but you trusted and they see things for what they are. And now with the temperance, you're acting, they're letting go. They're keeping you away from them because anything that disturbs their peace, they don't want that. They don't want that. But the temperance here, this person could be wanting reconciliation. But again, this looks to me like I just want to be peaceful. I just want to be on my own. Uh, I know what my happiness is. And when it's around, I'll get it. And with the temperance here, again, a lot of cool, calm, collective, being patient, being very, very, um, taking things slow. But yes, they want to maintain that balance in their life. They're very clear. About, their attitude is very clear about what they want. Your attitude sucks. Seriously, Capricorn. I'm sorry for calling you out, but why is the nine of nine nine of wands in reverse? Why is the nine of wands in reverse? King of Swords in reverse. <clears throat> King of Wands in reverse. King of Swords in reverse. King of Pentacles in reverse. I think this is all you, Capricorn. The King of Pentacles in reverse, again, it could be them who's very focused on their work, but this is definitely you, King of Swords in reverse. You're just being an asshole. You think that you're being very, very logical, Capricorn, but actually you're just being harsh. You're not being logical. You're not being rational. You're just being harsh. The logical thing would have been to go and communicate with this person, to take action towards this person because this person once loved you a lot or because you also want the same thing with them. Page of Swords, Knight of Swords, King of Wands in Reverse, Knight of Swords in Reverse, King of Swords in Reverse. What the hell? What is all this going on? That's not how it's going to work with this person. Knight of Wands in Reverse and King of Swords in Reverse. Two things, okay? Either this person is giving up on you, okay, because there is no communication between you guys, or you're wanting to open up to this person, you're wanting to be vulnerable to this person, but in a very cold and a very harsh way. Again, by being very manipulated is what I'm getting. I think you're going to try and manipulate this person. It's like, you know, you don't want to directly go and approach this person. You're like, hey, you know what? I messed up. I'm sorry. Can we try this again? It's like, yeah, so what's up? Like, I mean, um, how's you and like, so what's going on? Something like that. You know, it's a lot of manipulate. It's like, you know what? I don't think you are going to directly approach this person when you want to approach this person that, okay, you know what? Let's like, let's get married. I think you would want to probably, you're not apologizing. Them. I said it. You're not apologizing. You're not apologetic about the way your behavior was or what happened or how this person is hurt. You just feel that you can screw things up, you can mess over, and then you can just go and talk to this person and start from where you left. I don't think that's how it's going to work. I don't think that's how it's going to work. You're gonna to have to be in the upright. You may be you may be letting your guards down, but you're gonna to have to be in the upright. This kind of communication and manipulation, being harsh, is not going to work. You're not being logical. You're just being cold. That's what I have for you, Capricorn. I hope this reading resonates with you. Leave your comments below. Like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.